Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Bricks Tech and Brighter Graphics to deliver world class Blue Beam training and customization services, empowering you to get the most out of your Blue Beam investment. This month, I'd like to show a few custom tools and workflows I created for a customer performing PNID inspections at several process plants throughout the UK. Next, let's jump over and take a look at a new drawing here. So we're gonna jump into this drawing here. Typical drawing um, example. And you can see here all the different valves, um, pipe systems, and there's things that I need to mark up in here. So I'll show you some additional tools that we built and how they work. So we zoomed in, let's draw some of the um, pipe that we found in here that we need to add. We're going to come here, hold my shift key so I can draw straight lines. Come across here and we're going to move down. I have it set up so an arrow comes in on the end of it. Come there. here as well and once I have my pipe systems in there oops, I need another one here now I can start to drop in those valves so here you can see I have different um, tools set up so I can drop in a gate valve maybe I want that here drop that there this one I'm gonna drop there for a second and if I use the little blue grip here I can hold that down and rotate that so there I've got that drawn in then I might come down here we need to add in some green we've got some pipe on the plant that's not in our PNID so I'm going to Grab that tool again, and we're going to come up from here, come across, and down to here. So I've got that in there, and then I need to come in and draw another valve. Put that in there we're starting to collect our data in here. So let's place some of these sequences in here. So we've got um, in this particular tool set, we've got blue means it's a duplicate, green means it's on plant, not on PNID, or red means it's on plant and PNID. So we can go and place these again, just like we did on the other sheet, putting in as we check these, and then we can always go back and clean these up, move these arrows around after we get back to the office or whatever that might look like. We can start to move those around and clean those up. Again, we can drop a legend on the sheet showing what the different markups mean. He referred to um, the sequences here as bread uh, as crumb trails. So. I thought that was kind of a neat, um, a neat term for PNID, something I hadn't heard of. So next, let's go over here to this drawing, and we're going to add a piece of equipment. So um, I'm on site, I'm walking through, and I noticed that I don't have any idea what this equipment is, but let's just say there's another one. Uh, I can use my snapshot tool. So I'll go to Edit Snapshot. And I'm going to grab this piece of equipment here. It'll take a picture of it when it flashes blue. And I'm just going to come up here, right click and paste. And that will bring in a markup that looks identical. We just took a picture of it and pasted it. Okay, so now that I made that copy up there, we need to run some pipe similar to this one. So I'm going to come over to my um, pipeline. 
style and I'm going to draw a line across here. Again, I like to hold my shift key so it draws a straight line. Double click when I'm done. And if I don't want an arrow on that one, I just select that. Come back over to my properties for the line and get rid of that arrow. Then I can come into some of my tools over here. Maybe I need that in there. I can add these different pieces of equipment. Now, let's say um, up here, I need to add a back pressure regulator. I can drop that in here in line. I got my symbol there. I can note that however I need to, and I've got it all tracked. We also have tools in here for creating those comments. So we've got drawing notes. I can very easily draw a cloud around this piece of equipment, drop my note in here, and type in whatever information um, is needs replacement. I'll just leave it at that. I can put those comments in there with the cloud and I know exactly what needs to happen there due to my notes. Now with this with this back pressure regulator, if I want to actually document this a, a little better, I can actually right click on that markup, go down to capture from file or from camera. If I'm on site, I can take a picture and drop it in there directly. I'm going to go from file, just come out and I'm going to add an image. So I double clicked on that image and it gives me this little lens, which indicates there's an image attached to that. When I click on that lens, it opens up my flipbook and the image that I took on site when I recorded that new um, back pressure regulator. So you can see the valuable content that we're creating here and that we're documenting on these drawings as we go. If you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to the Brighter Graphics team. Uh, thanks again for hanging out this afternoon.